You're watching Middle Georgia Pride, only on 41 NBC News at 6. We end our eight weeks around Middle Georgia by taking you to the place in Ford Valley where everybody knows your name. And you can score some fresh produce while you're there as well. The new farmer's market has quickly grown to become Fort Valley's gathering spot. Daybreak anchor Kareen Savitsky found out what makes this market so popular. We went to the farm and picked up, picked the okra, and then we went, came here and set up, and now we're just sitting here waiting for people to buy. That's a typical day for local farmer Zach Moore. The hot temperatures have slowed growing for many middle Georgia farmers this summer, but Moore still does what he can to get fresh fruits and veggies to his Fort Valley customers. Peas, squash, okra, watermelon, butter beans, and cucumbers, and just a couple other stuff. They all know each other by name and the farmers, and, and they, they commute and talk to one another, and, and we know what's going on by just talking to any one of them. And that's the draw of the market. Not only are you getting tasty produce and supporting local business, you're also in the company of friends. You run into people you haven't seen in a while because they are in their homes with this heat, but they'll come out here and buy it at shops. So. The Fort Valley Market is on the site of the old passenger train platform. The city was able to renovate the space with the help of a nearly $100,000 USDA grant. We were very excited to be able to partner with the city of Fort Valley and Mayor Stumbo, and um, this project is a wonderful example. Simmons calls the market a win-win for everyone involved. When we um, develop our local and small regional food systems, we are ultimately spurring job growth in rural communities, which ultimately um, strengthens America's agriculture. The market requirement is that farmers can only bring local produce, things grown within a 60-mile radius of Fort Valley. And it can be Georgia-made, Georgia-grown. So sometimes we have people who make aprons or they do jams and jellies. The chairman of the Downtown Development Authority in Fort Valley says the market, and really the entire city, is warm and friendly to each other and to visitors. And that's what makes the market a success. I think people appreciate that they can see it. They can see it in your eyes. They can see it in how you welcome each other and, and invite each other to participate and, and uh, enjoy the city. At this time, farmers don't have to pay to be a part of the market. They just have to sign up with Main Street Fort Valley. Also a perk for residents, farmers at the Fort Valley market accept WIC and EBT cards.